for this battery is made from this little cell. Okay, let's go. This is the first step of the whole procedure. This step is the purpose of this step is uh, to test the incoming cell material. That means uh, once we produce a bulk of the cells, we need to test the good and the bad cells. And uh, we use this machine to test the cells, which is called battery test system. And uh, there are two data need to be tested. The first one is the capacity of the cell and the second data is the charge rate of the cell and uh, like this we will connect the cell here and use one software to test the cell this is the software to test the cell and uh, normally we need almost two hours to test the cell and uh, uh, normally, 10 percentage of the cells will be selected and tested through this machine. Okay. Uh, this is the step two. You know, after the step one, we, we select the good cells from the, the whole pack. And uh, here, we have all the good cells. And uh, we uh, need to test the cells uh, like this. First, we charge the cell to work part two voltage to see if the cell is good or, not, uh, good or bad. If the, if the cell cannot be charged to 4.2 voltage, then it will appear situation like this. Well, this defective cells like this. And then the cell will be discharged to 3.0 voltage. So this procedure is for the process. Then we can see the cell is good, is good or bad. Like this. Okay, if after this uh, charge and discharge, discharge process, the cell is uh, is good, then we will go to uh, next test stage. That means we will make sure that every cell of the battery, the weightage and the capacity is exactly the same to ensure the battery um, quality. And for the whole test procedure, we can uh, see all this sort of thing. You can see all the cell stages can be seen on this software. Okay, one thing I want to mention is that we will test every cells which we will produce in the battery. That's 100 percent cells will be tested here. So step three, and uh, you know, the other cells is tested uh, after test stage one and stage two, and uh, the good quality cells are selected. Then all the cells will be stored here. These cells are all tested of good quality, and the cells are being stored here uh, at least seven days. And uh, why, why do we have to do this? Because we want to make sure that the cells are still at a good quality after seven days. You know, sometimes uh, one cell is tested good when we test it, but after like, like one day or two days later, this cell is not good. So we will start here at least seven or ten days to make sure this uh, step is still good. And uh, you know, we want we need to make sure the this uh, room temperature is maintained at twenty five to thirty time temperature, and uh, the, to make sure the cells is stored at a very good uh, condition. Okay. Uh, this is step four. Step four is a uh, simple line stage. And uh, you know, uh, we will take the cells from the warehouse to this some line. And this step is one we need to test the weightage of the cell.
and then we, we want to make sure, you know, the wattage and the resistance of every cell in the battery is exactly the same to make sure this battery is at a good quality. So far is the soldering stage. And the uh, this stage the solder each cell. You know the solder temperature is about four hundred over four hundred degree. And uh, so you need to solder every cell very fast, about one second. If you solder too long, the cell will be damaged. So the workers is very experienced. To make sure okay. this uh, step six is the package stage. Here we will put some uh, glue here. Glue for between each cells. And uh, this glue is anti high temperature uh, uh, degree to glue. And uh, the temperature point can reach up to 100 degree. Okay, after this anti high temperature glue, and uh, we also need to put this tape on it to protect the cell. Uh, this tape is also uh, anti high temperature tape and uh, we can anti temperature reach up to 400 degrees. It's a very good protection for the cell.